Did NVIDIA just make the 4070 Ti obsolete? If you got one of these, maybe you're gonna have to do one of these. Let's throw it in the trash because What am I talking about? Well, comes down to the 12 gigabytes of VRAM and what Nvidia is likely going to release in the cheaper RTX 4070. There's a big report now that might be some huge news and this actually has a couple of different ramifications. It's not just one thing. It doesn't mean this GPU is any worse, but what it does mean is that the 4070 Ti hasn't really enjoyed all that great popularity because of its high price and only 12 gigabytes of VRAM, which can be an issue. I was trying to play it on the new Hogwarts game, optimized or not, if you try to max out with ray tracing, even at 1440p, the GPU is going to stutter a little bit. So the 4070, there is now some leaked information that there may be three different models coming out. One with 12 12 gigabytes of VRAM, just like the 4070 Ti, then you're saying that sounds decent, right? That's about what you would expect. It's just going to be a little bit slower GPU. And then we have a second one that's 10 gigabytes of VRAM. Maybe that's a cheaper model. And then we have the one that may make you a little angry, 16 gigabytes of VRAM on the 4070. You're asking, would Nvidia really do this? Well, yes. Let me give you some past example. Remember the 3060 Ti? That wasn't that long ago. It only had eight gigabytes of VRAM. The 3060, a cheaper GPU, had 12 gigabytes of VRAM. And as we've seen with some of these games, and especially games coming out in the future, VRAM is very important for all the stuff NVIDIA is trying to do with these GPUs. Guess what? Ray tracing eats up a lot of VRAM. Higher resolutions nowadays eat up VRAM, as well as DLSS that they want to implement. You're going to need a powerful GPU, and it's all going to mean a lot of VRAM. So why exactly is NVIDIA doing this? Why would they release a 4070 with three different tiers of memory? First, it's gonna come down to the pricing. If they can have three different tiers of GPUs, they're gonna cover themselves much better. They're not very happy with the sales of the 4070 Ti. 799 and it's staying on the shelves. Not that many people have bought it compared to who would usually buy it if it was a much more affordable GPU. This is not a cheap GPU, and with the limitations in mind, like with the VRAM that we mentioned, there is certainly some skepticism as to whether this is gonna be a very future proof product. So Nvidia wants to be smart. Instead of releasing one expensive model, if they have three different models with different VRAM, they can spread it out across markets that are going to be more popular. They can spread out that pricing. You can bet that the more expensive one, the 16 gigabytes, will probably be very close to the price of the 4070 Ti. I wouldn't be surprised if it's 699. If Nvidia released just that one model at 699, even if it has more VRAM, some people really still wouldn't be that happy because it's still a 4070 for 699. Remember, they used to be like 499, which was a much more fair price for like the 3070. So that's a pretty big problem, but it's a way for Nvidia. And now this is going to be the next key point. They're changing their product stack. Here's the biggest proof. Remember the 4070 Ti we're talking about? It used to be a 4080, 12 gigabyte. So Nvidia will just move around their names as they see fit in order to make it seem like you're getting a better product than you really are. But when we look at the specifications of the 4070 Ti, honestly, it doesn't even look like a 70 class GPU. It has a 192 bit memory bus. Why is this important? Remember we were talking before about ray tracing and playing even at 1440p? That memory memory bus is going to be a bit of a bottleneck when you're trying to really max out graphics. The GPU can do the FPS in a lot of cases, in a lot of games, but as soon as you start to tax the memory, which not everybody's going to do, but it is a high-end GPU, you're going to have these problems, and that's why NVIDIA is shifting the product stack around. The 4070 could really be a 4060. That's really what it likely should have been. Now, by them giving you a 16 gigabyte version, remember the 3060 was also 12 gigabyte compared to 8 gigabytes of the 3060 Ti. So that's not going to be that big of a difference. But what they can do is give it a little bit of a premium feel. By having more VRAM, most consumers are not going to know the difference. They may even think that GPU is better than a 4070 Ti. Even today, people will ask me if a 3060 is better than a 3060 Ti because one has more VRAM. But the answer is always the 3060 Ti in most cases because that's just a better GPU in terms of gaming performance. But VRAM is increasingly 
more important. So then if Nvidia has the regular 4070 or 12 gigabytes of VRAM, they can price that even lower, maybe 599. And that's the one that a lot of people would buy most likely. And then they may have a budget model or budget in this case, just meaning cheaper. Maybe the 499 4070 might be something like the 10 gigabyte 4070. And that's going to be the way that they justify that sort of price class. Really, these should have been like a 4060 Ti, 4060, maybe even a 4050. So you see how Nvidia changed the product stack here. What they did is keep prices high because remember there are still RTX 3000 out in the wild waiting to be sold. If I go to my local micro center, I still see plenty of them on the shelves. So this certainly still is a pretty big problem for them. But now what does that mean for the other GPUs like the 4060 Ti? That would leave the 4060 Ti with a price anywhere from 399 to 499. So you see how they can't price the 4070 too low or else it's gonna really destroy the low end pricing for them in terms of like the 4060 and the 4060 Ti. They have to keep some type of room there. So this is all gonna play out very interestingly. Are they really gonna release these models? Right now it's just speculation. I would think that if they release two expensive of a 4070, they know what's going to happen. It's going to sit on the shelves. It's not going to sell if it's not priced well. If, however, they release a 4070 that's priced really, really well, and the specifications are at least decent, like the 16 gigabytes of VRAM, I think then it's gonna be considerably more acceptable. So in my opinion, from looking at these specs, it just seems like the 4070 is really a 4060 in disguise, much like the 4070 Ti was never a 4080, and I don't really even think it's a 4070 Ti. It probably should have been at most a regular 4070 or a 4060 Ti based on on its specifications. Maybe Nvidia just produced GPUs that are way too good so they can justify changing the product stack. Like they could have definitely made, you know, the 4080, maybe the 4070 Ti. But then what about the 4090? They would have to have released something else to make up that gap. But here, a 16 gigabyte 4070 definitely makes things interesting. It'll be interesting to see what the bit bus will be of it. If you have a GPU that's six or 12 gigabytes, it has to be 192 bits, something that's eight or six 16, like the 4080 will be 256 bits, but it's possible they're going to put slower bandwidth memory on the 4070, not to have to give it like the X variant or something like that, or else it would just be way too good of a GPU. So that's another problem. You could see, even though it has 16 gigabytes of VRAM, it may actually end up being slower than the VRAM that's maybe on something like the 4070 Ti, but we don't know any of those specifications yet. And you just have to guess that's likely what's going to happen due to the product stack and the pricing that Nvidia wants to to do. And of course, they don't want to step on the toes of their own GPUs when they're releasing these. But definitely, it's probably a decent strategy for them to have three different models of VRAM. That way, they can price the GPUs accordingly, depending on what the market demand is. Because right now, with lots of GPUs sitting on the shelves, I think it's definitely fairly unpredictable for them. All right, guys, so remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.